I'm just gonna play my own experiment. <laughs> you got me. People are playing these lists that have like no ways to kill my halfling. I'm I'm just gonna cast turn one halfling and beat people that way. I think that's my plan. It's kind of a tough matchup for me. Especially with that trashy hand. Just a bit better. Ice hands gas. Uh, do I want to keep Fable or do I want to keep Teferi? Fable's higher upside. Leyline's good if he has like the stupid sign of Draco. Yeah, I'll play it safe. I'll pitch Fable. Team events, right? Does it matter? Second blue, second green? Mm -mm -mm. Second blue, second green. I have a tiny bit more green, I guess. Rhinos, no, they're not playing Rhinos. I think they're playing Zoo. Or maybe they swapped. Maybe they switch. Oh yeah, it looks like they are playing, yeah. Easy. Leyline, Leyline, Siren, seven card hand. E Z for my opponent. But we're good. We're good. We are fine. Unless they also have a force. I mean, they're playing Ryan, I don't know. I mean, they did this, but I mean, Bethesda means Rhinos, probably. Oh, it looks like they have Force, too. No. Um, SF Tef and play. I need to do it right now. The yeah, Argon. Welcome back. All right, now we need Nissa. We need Bay. Well, I've had a nice in enemies now, yeah. Yes, guess so. <laughs> oh, what should I get here? This <laughs> Blue, green, red, white. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. Man, my draw has been nice. You guys like my, my Omnath cosplay? Well, some of you already saw, but it's got the, the white, the red, the blue, the green, hyper jump. Yeah, I know this off. They were lucky. I mean, I'm not this kind of yellow, gold, yellow. It's awfully yellow to me. 
They're playing rhinos, right? Why crack? What do you mean? Huh? All right, I actually don't have. Uh... I guess I'll keep ticking up. Oh, you wanted me to do the damage on my turn, right? Yeah, you might be right. Loose. Yeah. Casting sawtooth is kind of nice. I mean, I do care about ultimate strength. If it were an ending, it's good. Could hold solitude back. All right, they blocked anyways. Okay, how many lands do I have left? You. Do you still have Leyline in hand? I do. Alright, I'm gonna fetch. I need to fin the deck. Cannot afford to uh the lands. I need binding for cyan. Burden Slight, Hexproof Blue, Lifeline Black, First Strike Red, Trample Green. Yeah, I miss that would have been quite good here, but let's not talk about it. I think I just keep ticking up because of Fable. I can get rid of Cyan, Block a Rhinos. What spells do I have? Ending both fire ice, it's not a lot of spells. What did I not get yet? I got a missing blue, missing steam vents. Maybe I should lay line now. Yeah, I don't think I want to get tricky. No triumphs. Uh, no triumphs now. I want to be able to cycle them if I draw them. All right, classic starting gutting. Instantly on lock heat. As soon as I put the yellow hat on. Me? Oh, I did have something for. I think I'm okay just walking here. It's good if I draw another Omnath. Got to fetch. Oh well. Minus four life. I refuse to draw that steam vent still. Attacking me and not Ren is kind of unhinged, but okay. But I'm clearly knows something I don't. Then attack with Shaman. Have mana for Solitude plus Binding. Didn't play line, Ley Line. How many vegetables left? 
There's like one basic forest. You do make a good point. I if I should keep it in hand. Well, there's like the triomes. Should I fetch my last forest? They seem to be ignoring around anyways. I'll play it. I really don't want to draw that forest. Yeah, I knew. I knew they had the adverse had a feeling. Hope I don't lose because I bet four life. That'd be really sad. Kind of want to buy an Arena now. Before they have force man up. It might be bad if. Uh, you go ley line Draco. Oh, why did I block with Solitude? I'm getting Fable next turn. Whoops. Oh, that was a spew. That was awful. I think maybe their last card in hand is a uh, is a force. The last card I don't know about. No, I'm gonna probably win now. Let's get an emblem. A little behind on time. A lot behind on time. I don't think they played Force Fits the Witch from yesterday. He had Subtlety. They did tank on Solitude and stuff a bunch. I didn't notice that. I mean, killing Rent's fine. Get yeah, infinite lands now. I just need to, like, kill them fast. Damn, I'm gonna time out for round one of the challenge. Sucks. Alright, we're good now, because <clears throat> even if they draw Draco to go with their ley line, I can I can press Matic and the ley line, Matic and the subtlety. I know, I didn't use Ren. It's fine. I was bouncing my ley line. No, who cares?
Okay, that's eight. Damn, half my time. Gonna restart Magic Online real quick. Close that stuff too. Yeah, I mulliganed, but I had a great hand. But they had like, they had their nut dry and I still won, kind of. Hey, Rancid Wind, welcome to chat. Yeah, the Fable stuff. A little slower, but you guys like the early turns are a little tricky, and I was playing a little slow. All right, I did not add pick the poison to my sideboard, unfortunately. What did they play? They have like force of vigor against me, force of vigor dispute kind of stuff. Moonlight dispute verdict. Alice. It's kind of tricky. I kind of need the bindings. But then their force of vigor become good. Mm -hmm. Bolt can go. I don't love solitude in this matchup. Probably want my own force of vigor. It's it's super tricky because the endings are bad. Could rely on Basejo. Gives it a lot of mana. Maybe Basejo is just better than Force. And then Veil's good against them. I don't know four cards to cut. I'm just going to cut the binding. Don't want to be like, oh, I get fed by force of vigor. No, what dreams are I made of, but okay. Or I get rid of the planes. Steam vents. Maybe just get rid of steam vents. Two games in a row. Play line turn zero, seven card hand. Let's be. I did it bring for some bigger. I kind of wish this was a binding, I guess. So if modern needed more high rolling, yeah. Uh, maybe I messed up. I should have played Omnath last turn. I don't know what I was thinking. That's kind of bad. Uh, yeah, that's that really bad. 
I just kind of die to subtlety. Get verdict and hope they don't have outburst. I can't believe I didn't omnap last turn. And not playing Omnath on that. Oh my god, it was like no downside basically. Oh, ah. You too. I still should have played that on that fun turn four. Bindings, yeah, but they can have Force of Vigor. He brought in Force of Vigor against me. Then he gets some Force of Vigor Chalice plus a binding, and I get wrecked. That's my worry. Also, Solitude is nice to hit of Nissa. It's nice to have a couple. I don't know if he boards us his bindings. Gotta board out something. Time binder on the plate could be good. I don't think I need it though. Just proactive. I don't hate the bindings. This verdict is sideboard. Not sure it's good. I think it should have maybe just been pick your poison. Fire Ice is great. Fire Ice is literally great. Alright, not the greatest, but... So three, three times. Three, three seven card keep, three times, three times ley line. That's like... Like 2% or something. To have a playable 7 with a ley line in it. Has he had three times Draco too? Is that three times Draco? Three times Leyland, three times Draco? Seven card hands? Okay. I mean, this could have been a pick the poet, pick your poison too, to be fair. Uh. I think I just bounced the ley line. What did he pitch? Disputes? I think top is fine. Could one rank first? Don't seem that great. And... So if I verdict and they go Charles Agent, I get to go the Fairy, bounce a token, log the footfalls, take six. Yes, take four to have to kill the Fairy. 
You guys like ring better first? If I ring, I go to 12, and then what? And then after verdict, and then they get to rhinos. Yeah, I agree. I think verdict plays way better. The verdict line plays way better. Verdict into Teferi plus Veil. Need to dodge like land subtlety. That'd be nasty. Uh, land subtlety, pretty nasty. But if I play force, they could just have like a dispute over. Might as well, right? Way too easy. Yeah, the one verdict. Jeez, that was clutch. Well, I theorized that my list was like kind of okay. in this matchup and I beat Gilpack Cyan of Draco plus a reasonable draw twice. That maybe one or three times. Now I just need to not time out. But I think we should be good. Carbonation, yeah, people mentioned that cards. I probably should have. I'm gonna play against that deck like every round. I wish I had. Oh. I'm conceding. No, my reputation precedes me. Yeah, I didn't spend too much time thinking about... I mean, I did think about it a bit, but... I had to adjust the list for this meta, but... Wish I had maybe like a couple of cards different. I don't know. I like my configuration in this matchup with the free Basejo. I, I thought about it before. I was more thinking about whether or not I should jump ship and play the Rhino deck. But then people were like, hibernation. I've heard talks of other like pretty hateful cards. I was like, no thank you. Just gonna like lose to nasty stuff all day. I'm happy. I'm happy. I beat Leyline Draco. I beat seven card land Leyline Draco. I should have maybe won game two if I played that on that. Maybe he didn't have the dispute yet. I think I'm just going to keep this hand even though it's not the greatest. Uh, 
Oh, I, I braked. I thought it was reasonable because I turned one ending. And I turned one ending on the draw against Sean Dan Mulligan. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that some draft this week, probably. I'm leaving next Sunday, though. Alright, it looks like maybe they kept... Uh... Hopefully they were banking hard on that uh, on that green mana. Looks like they were, because they didn't go to five. Do I care about one mana binding? Do I care about ending for five? One mana binding is nice. Against the ring. Hmm. Should have got a red though. Not that it matters that much. All right, we got to have the combo. Now we just need a... Now we just need Basejo. I think that's play the one rank first. White, green, blue, red. Blue, white, green, red. I think I just played a one rank first. Are drawing all the cards. Well, they had six cards. They're Tron. I think they kept Star plus um, probably Ancient Stirrings, and I I ended that. I ended their. Uh, I ended their hopes and dreams. I ended their. Uh, there's fear. So this nukes them for, if I save the mana, it nukes them for four next turn. Or I could just play a solitude this turn. Oh, they have this member. Oh. All right, beats. I think I should be fine, even if they run Tron at this point. Surely. That's crazy. I mean, not really. Kept a one lander. It's not that crazy. I mean, how many turn five draw steps? Hmm, it's unlucky. I don't know about crazy. That was good. That ice probably seals the deal. Probably still an underdog to win the match, even up a game. Cyborg games should be a little easier for me, though. If I just play another ring so I don't misclick, so I don't forget the anti anti Monson tech, the sympathy for Trumpler. No, I mean, obviously it sucks to just not draw land in your top six cards.
I guess no sympathy for people who don't scoop when they're dead on boards. <clears throat> and they did nothing and it still took me like six minutes. All right, so the little I have, the Seju Vito, am I desperate enough that I want Force of Vigor? Maybe. Tidebinder is good. Dispute's probably fine. Let's see, what are my truly bad cards? Bolt's not the worst against Karn, but it's not great. The Fairy's not the greatest, but it does give me like halfling into the fairy, which is decent draw. Solitude's pretty bad. Probably want like exactly one. That I can bounce with the fairy and whatnot. Stern scolding. Nope. Moonlight. Nope. Veil. Nope. Force of Vigor. Maybe. Oblivion Stone is a good target. Yeah, no, it's not good. I usually set out all three mana to fairies. Um. I'd rather have to ferry than solitude. I could trim some fours. I think I'm gonna keep in bold because it's good against Karn, and Karn is not trivial to like get rid of. I could like trim a Nomnav, trim a ring. I could at least trim one to ferry. I could trim two to ferry, I guess. I'd keep some more solitudes. Why do you want solitudes? Do you think I can win a long game? I think I'm pretty good against Worm Coil. I have like Tef, Ice, Binding. I don't know how the games play out. I don't think Solitude's very good against them at all. I think this looks pretty reasonable. My opening hand is, I don't think it's reasonable for this matchup. They kept seven. It's a bit better. It's a bit better, but I have a pretty, pretty tricky bottom. <coughs> Why is Leyline Binding very bad? It's very good against um. It's very good against a one ring. Why do you say it's very bad? Solitude better than Teferi versus Tron. Okay, if you say so. All right, let's bottom that. Okay, they kept seven. Looks like they're gonna have Tron on turn three. With Seiju, okay. So nice. That is also kind of nice. No, no, I, I'm just just the first few turns of the game. They they haven't done anything weird. I'll show you my hand in a second. Ready? Quick look, quick peek. A more artsy hand hider, yeah, I could. True. Is that a time lock? I wish. Time warp? That'd be kind of nice. All right, I already got it back to land. Yeah, they got the right one. Let's 
Cityscape Leveler, my Ren. All right, good beats. Got five cards in hand. On the map, leave a veto. How do I do that? I'm curious. You got my attention. Yeah, please explain yourself. Just do it. All right, I guess I'm not beating the seven, seven card keep of Tron on the play when my draw is like kind of whatever. It's not terrible, obviously, but it's not the greatest either. I get a leveler back when it attacks. I get to chip at my locust. Okay. Well, also, it's Solitude would have been better than Binding for me this game. How many creatures do they even play that I care about? To be fair, their latest list didn't even have Cityscape Leveler. Just bring it in, have have it in the sideboard and just bring it in. Nice for a lands, yeah. How many mites do they have? One in the main, two in the sideboard. So they have six mana. Uh, could try and Teferi Omnath. Are they gonna blob their Oblivion Stone if I do that? It kind of forces them to blow up their Oblivion Stone. Not forces them, but it's kind of good for me to do. I get to fit my deck. Wait, how did I miscount? Apparently I can't count to aid. Okay, never mind. I don't know, bouncing my Omnath might not be the worst here. <laughs> Bounce it, cast it again. Then I lose it to Cityscape. Yeah, I just saved to Fairy for later at this point. Yeah, I messed up playing that Feshland. I just can't count. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Seven mana. Solitude's kind of bad. Yeah, I think I just still have to play the Teferi. Even though it's not ideal. Yeah. I wish I hadn't played that fetch land. That was silly.
I know there was a saga in their deck. Maybe I should have countered map. It would have protected the fairy too. That might work out for me. Not the worst ways. Oh. I need to dodge a few draw steps and I might be okay. Problem is that Karn can get level right now. I don't know what your point is. Besides trying to jinx me. Did I have a choice? Did I play, did I have a better play? Let him stone. Let him stone my board away. That seem, seems great. Seems like an excellent play. Probably because these are these tokens getting. All right, this is obviously not great if they draw a card, but I have to kill it at the end of my turn. I'm in a pretty terrible spot and I'm low on time. Can make a token. That oblivion stone. Thanks. I might scoop. I think I'm gonna just scoop. Solitude was the so was Taff. Is binding just a liability? Doesn't seem super reasonable to board out binding against a one ring deck. Could not have that bolt. Like worm calls in the they probably board out worm call, right? Chalice on the one on the play. Stubs their mites too. Yeah, Chalice on the plate sounds, sounds reasonable. I don't feel like I have bad cards though. Unless we decide binding is bad, which maybe it is. Halfling? Okay, you're, you're disqualified. You're instantly disqualified. Yes, the against the like linear deck, I'm gonna board out halfling. Yeah, I'm gonna board out bolt. Maybe the tabs just don't do enough. Decent against saga. 
How many Psy guys did they play to one? Yeah, I mean, you got an ending against Oblivion Stone, One Ring, all their one mana artifacts. That's how I got them in game one, literally. On that for One Ring. I think I need my power plays. One tap, one solitude. Well, that's a hand. I mean, it sucks, but I'm definitely not going to mold that. Forest is the worst. I don't think you get like Ragrain Trium. Five, 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 five. No. Damn it. Hmm. I mean, this can get Steam Vent. Should probably just play the planes here. In case I draw. Oh, I'm low on time. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully, they have a lot of one mana spells. Can be worse. Blue, green, white, red. Blue, green, white, red. I think playing on that right away is better. Come on, Basishu, where are you? No, no, Basishu. Well, I'm all ready. So they don't have Sylvan's crying. So I should just tap tower. All right, I need a spell, or else I'm just going to lose. It looks like I'm going to lose anyways. Nice Chalice. Could have been a Teferi. Or Force of Vigor. Yeah. I mean, obviously I got a little unlucky. Force of Vigor is in the sideboard. Why is Force of Vigor good in this matchup? Sloan Swift, you're like kind of tilting, honestly. You're like, like, what am I supposed to cut? Yeah, Chaz probably locking some cards, but I did just have Oblivion Stone and I mean, maybe it slowed them down a bit. I'll save fetch land for uh... So your argument for force of vigor is turn one map? Well, no, you definitely disqualified yourself. That's like horrendous. It's like a horrendous reason to have force of vigor in this matchup. That's not how you win by like two for one in yourself on their map. 
I mean, you can convince me that like hard casting, I mean, here would have been perfect because they drew their one saga and they had an Oblivion Stone chilling. But yeah. Somnia, it sounds like you're just making stuff up as you go and, and just being as result oriented as possible. And it is not very well seen in, in the Yellowhead stream. I mean, Oblivion Stone is a problem in this matchup, for sure. What am I even supposed to do here? Just lose. Chalice stopping my halfling from, from trumping. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a bad matchup. I obviously got extremely lucky to even just win the one game. Yeah, I didn't draw. I thought I was a favorite overall, maybe after winning game one. But yeah, zero Buseju in like, I saw what, 40 cards plus my malls. I saw 50, 60 cards, 50 cards. This match. And I didn't see a single Boseju. Is Spygonti still coping? Merc? Can he help himself? He's like, guys, I got it. I changed two two main deck. I swapped a sideboard card and a main deck card, and I changed two sideboard cards. I got the perfect seventy five for the tournament. Wow, that's growth. Oh, he's still coping. Does different kind of cope. Blue black scam. Still probably a pretty terrible deck. Could be worse, I guess. Coping, but not as much. So I need the green or red. Probably want to start getting white. My brain's such a slow mo I like. Am I getting the right fetch? I play for content, hashtag ultimate guard. <laughs> When he cycled Street Red, I thought he was playing, you know, Living End. I thought he was playing a good deck. I mean, he's doing a kind of okay. I could just Flood. Still on Boomer 4C. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just bouncing. Uh, I beat I beat Leyline Draco 3. Well, no, they won one game. My round one opponent had Leyline Dra Draco three games in a row, and I won two of them. Thought I was impressive. I was happy with myself. I don't know if I should even tap a land. Maybe I should just save it for Bowmaster. This deck's not super mana intensive. <laughs> Kills Bowmaster. If he tries to scam a grief, it could be good. All that being said. Five burn in hand when they're at eight. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. I could have. Oh wow, I had I had him dead. Two five renting. He's gonna take ending, he's gonna play a death shadow. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, he took solitude? Thought for sure he was gonna take Thought for sure he was gonna take prismatic ending there. I think he has a Merc in hand. Hmm. I'm not playing um I didn't I didn't add the surveil lands. 
That's probably a mistake. I didn't have time to. I should have spent a, a little more time working on my list. All right, Merc's pretty good here. Not gonna lie, Merc's pretty good. Fetching is bad if I draw exactly Nissa. How much mana do I draw? Have if I draw Nissa? Four. So I get to either cast an Omnath. Hyper is lethal next turn. Hyper is lethal. But he does have five cards in hands. And he has to kill Ren. I guess I'm protected from the ring, he doesn't mind. Are you guys supposed to ping him there? I don't know what they play in their deck. Did they even play Counterspell? 8, 2, 10. <laughs> could have Bowmaster. I think maybe I should lead with Zomnaf here. If I draw first, and he Bowmasters? Maybe I don't care. Is there a stock list of that deck? I don't think he's playing red. I mean, he could be, I guess. Could be a horrendly mana screwed. Seems unlikely. Spell Snare Preordained. Dismember. He was playing straight blue black. Oh! Uh... What's the upside of drawing first? There's no downside to drawing. Uh, I can't think. All right, I'm just gonna play on that first. It's fine. Probably could have won this game. The whole burn plan. Looks like I fetched wrong at some point. Can try and solitude that Merc I can bounce the Merc tides. Can bounce by a ring. Solitude Merc tides. Missing some white mana. Let's see if that resolve. Does not resolve. Alright. Yeah. I probably could have burned him out this game. That's kind of loose. I mean, he's not going to have anything very exciting. Going to be more of the same. Veto for spells and ring. I don't think he's playing a ring. He's playing like Bowmaster. 
Death Shadow, Merc Tide, Dispute is good, Verdict's probably fine. I don't think I need to do too much sideboarding. Probably does Dispute and Veil is good. And then Ending. Ending's only really for Death Shadow. <clears throat> Ending seems like kind of my worst card. Dotter Bolt. Draft MKM. No, not yet. Stern. So narrow, and I need to have it at the right time, but yeah, it is it is kind of good. Doesn't counter a Death Shadow, though, does it? Could you Chalice for, for Death Shadow? All right, I'm going to rely on Binding and Solitude. Kind of crappy hand, but okay. Connery Mulligan lands and spells here. Right on the grief scam. All right, that's a good point. It didn't look like it. Could, no, probably not, right? Because he had Drown and Counterspell. So probably not. Yeah, Martin is exactly. Should I just get sick of white now? White, green, blue. I probably fetched wrong at some point last game and then I didn't have enough white on the last turn. Not that it would have mattered because he had counterspell, but. Play as like stupid drowns and not actually counterspell here. I like dispute or something. Oh, nice. Table resolving. Let's go. He really can't help himself. Brazen Bower. Modern power level cards. I discard that bolt, it turns on drawn in the launch. It's not great. I guess drawn's gonna be pretty good for him either way. He can kill my Nissan in response to the fetch. I think I need to get rid of that bolt. Doesn't look like he has you know. Could have just jammed on that here. Both seem kind of fine. I love, love where this game's going. That's for sure. He's just like trading one for one. I have a lot of frets. So that's good. But I'm not having survey land. I don't know what I would have cut for the survey land though. There's like nothing you can really cut for the survey land. It's got to be worth it. He's just chilling, saying go.
They got fine rights. You just... I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to say go. Amazing cards. Apparently he thinks the same thing of my Ren and Six. Like, nice friend you've got there, buddy. Is that even good? Yo, Doomwake. Thanks for the raid, bud. Welcome, everyone. You're done early. What is the plan today? What happens? Right, I, I won't fetch. What's gonna happen? What's the worst here? Subtlety? I mean, if he doesn't want to do anything. Yes, I'm just gonna not do anything either. Probably has subtlety in hand. Dismember my reflection. Hmm. Maybe I should have attacked with just one halfling. Hmm. I don't know. I'm fine with how this game's going. I think it's going to be pretty hard for him to win. But yeah, that's arguably loose to attack with both. Uh, he's on the double merc plan. Double merc and rage. That's why you want to play the game slow sometimes in this matchup. Because they get stuck on lands and then. Especially when I have Ren going. Just didn't have to do anything. Whereas if you jam like Fred, 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 and they counter, 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 untap, Merc died, and then have, yeah. That was nice. That is like power of Ren and Six, this game. For all the Mangu, the, all the Mangu stands out there who think Ren and Six is an unplayable card, that's it's like textbook. Textbook Ren and Six winning me this game. Almost single-handedly, just... Why free ran? I had to make room for, for some nap, but, yeah, questionable. Good do Verdict. I don't love Verdict against the Thoughtseize deck. And against... Because against Merktide, they have Blood Moon, so Verdict is awkward. And in this matchup, they have Discard, so they kind of... Like, choose when it's good. I mean, it's going to be good at some point, I guess. They need to kill me with creatures. But... And and they have to kill all my creatures on site, pretty much. So I'm never really going to have creatures in play. So I think Verdict should be good. I think I should probably have Verdict in my deck. I could cut Buseju. Does it kill anything that we saw? Not really. I could I could greet and cut a Busage on the draw. Or I could cut that stupid bolt that I ended up discarding anyways. I guess I'll cut bolt. That makes sense. Bolt for verdict. No veto? There's nothing to veto. I don't want veto for their counter for their counter spells. He mulligans. I mean Ugh. Ah, oh, that's a tough one. I think it's small. That veil is going to be awkward. If he has to turn one thought sees. Man. Yeah. You don't want to mulligan, but I am on the draw. He did mulligan. If I fall behind and he just have a bowmaster, my hand just does nothing. I need two lands. To play the game. What do you ship here? Could ship binding, could ship halfling, could ship Baseju, could ship Veil, could really ship it all. Binding? They don't deploy threats from. Super fast, but double halfling's pretty gas. Five or draw ring, but then I have no answer to a bowmaster. 
Veil like cycle. I don't think I should I should bottom veil. It is tempting to bottom binding. Halfling skip turn one. I could do that. Then he can like thought sees my other halfling. My hand kind of sucks. I think I'm just gonna ship the binding. I have a decent bit of removal spell. What are they taking? Depends. No, maybe just Omnath. Maybe just a Veil. I did keep in all my expensive cards. I have all my Solitudes, all my Rings, all my Omnaths. So the mana is nice. I could obviously end up flooding. Happens a lot with this deck. But two, two of my lands are Cycling lands. Wow, he's staking... Affling? Alright, I guess I'm just playing Flood of Strand then. <clears throat> Could have Counter plus Fatal Push. Yes, spell pierce in this matchup. There's no way, right? He's just running into it because he has to. Oh, he does. Now he plays a Merc Titan and I lose. Well, I guess I should have been even more patient. I could have. Wow, well, I got wrecked. I was not in a rush. I couldn't really lose. Oh, that was huge. Wow, that's that was maybe the best card I could have drawn. Maybe maybe Tef was better. Am I fetching triple green? Sure. Could fetch breeding pool. Or stomping ground. He's been counterspelled because he knows that veil anyways. What I don't want to get was the fetch land. And he could have Tidebinder, I guess. Dude, just play a freaking Murktide. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a dual land. I'm just gonna get Triome at this point. Not sure that's the kind of game where... Feels like I'm kind of chilling. Master. Good draw. Nice. Need to dodge some nonsense now. All right, I guess I win. Probably win. Definitely win. Close, close one. Yeah, yeah, the veils are pretty good. And that's kind of an interesting game. The whole like, 
Veil, Veil Halfling thing. What that cast I like to play? The Yog. Right, I'll keep. I'll keep my mug into zero. I'll show my hand in a sec. Oh, any ley lines? We just play Cavern in their uh, Yog deck. Sign of Draco. <laughs> Let's get ourselves some black mana. And let's save ourselves some life totals. Yo. Not a bad start for me. Yo, Arbon or Arbon Thanks for the uh, sixty-one months as well. You and Chloe, appreciate that. Keeping the streak alive. Of course, if you enjoyed the stream, best way to support me: Twitch Prime. If you have that uh, Prime sub lying around, you forgot about. If you've been hoarding for the right time. Okay, one rhinos. Cool planes, I guess. Do some non one for one removal spell. Binding <laughs> it gets binded. Should I save one of each? Benson speed is nice. In fact, it's bad against binding. I think that instant speed is just too good, though. This seems going to be tough if they just have an Arcus Kate spell. Can bounce around, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's definitely an upside. Too many tap lines in the lane line. You probably want at least one. I probably want one in my deck too, but. Like, which one do you pick? You get a top shot. Welcome to the chat. Stolent. Joling. 55 months, appreciate that. Yeah, now they have like one mana binding, which is a little annoying. Prismatic ending a Draco. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have blue mana yet. <coughs> I mean, it could be going worse. I just gotta cast my cards, I think. Yeah. I just don't really care to use a force on the binding. I'll let them take a draw step and attack.
Could it be a pretty hard game to win if they have subtlety? <laughs> yeah. That's all of lands. I mean, one one for run removal is nice if if you don't flood. All right, at least they didn't have outburst there. You got it. You got my Ren. Mm, I don't think waiting makes much sense at all. Actually, I'm even gonna. Fetch first. It only makes sense if... I mean, they could have, like, Lauren Revealed in hand. Their hand could be Force, Lorian Revealed. And then they get to Force, on tap, cast Lorian Revealed. They have Tishana. I'm not even sure they play Tishana. Surveil land, yeah, I should have had probably surveil land in my deck. It's probably worth having an extra land in your deck. Some lands don't even play. If I play a ring and it just have outbursts, it's just so bad. Yeah. Card to the exile, nothing in the hard cast it. Hmm. Thing is, we know they didn't have outbursts last turn. I could also just draw a halfling. That's questionable. Like last time I played it, I don't know what I yeah, the first the first ring I think I had to play. That that time it was like I don't more questionable. Of course. They probably have salty anyways. First time Shadow Sweet Haircut, thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so how do we see in this matchup? We won the Seju. I think what I did last time was pretty solid. I got the bindings, I think. And Just got all the bindings, all the endings? No. Yeah, and my plan is just Baseju for... What did I do? I just did, I just did this, probably. Yeah, that looks right. That looks right. I think that's the plan. Maybe I didn't bring in Tidebinder and I kept two Solitudes. What did I do last time? Isn't binding better than solitude? Well, solitude you can find up Nissa. That first stops Cascade, yeah, it does. Body kept some bindings. I'm worried about Force of Vigor. At two solitudes. I probably didn't have that Tide Binder, which is. There's a little sauce to have Tide Binder against the Cascade deck. I think that's what I did last time. Retract. Let's go. 57 months. On the 57 month streak. Appreciate it. Welcome back. And it's fine. And is just fine. You tell is turn one. Probably not. Probably give them a draw step. One force of bigger, better in one solitude. I don't think so, but maybe. Pre game actions, anyone? Violent outburst. 
four cards in hand. No Draco. Do I care about Basaju? Not really. Not right now. I'm going to fetch now just in case they have Tidebinder. That'd be nasty. I boarded out Binding, so I don't need Triome. And I think White Green Triome is not good when I have Basaju in hand. Because I could get unlucky. What am I supposed to get here? How can I. I guess with Basaju, I can always get unlucky. Unless I get Sacred Foundry? Is that weird? It's not weird, right, to get Sacred Foundry here? Federal Plains, that's fine. Federal Forest, that's fine. Sacred Foundry is the only one where I can't get unlucky. Oh, you want me to be able to besiege you? Yeah, they could have Binding into a Cascade spell. But they have to besiege you Binding. I think I, it's just not a winning line anyways. That's gonna get Sacred Foundry, it's fine. Yeah, they could have bind Binding into Cascade spell. But I can't afford to just besiege you, and if I don't have third land, I, I don't get to play the game. Doesn't seem that great. Just play it now before they get... Uh, I drew the basic forest too. Because there was no ways around it. I end up to subtlety with Charlotte's agent. Just stop right, no reason not to. I've mentioned that before. I mentioned it in the podcast this week. I've never tested it, but I think as a Rhino player, if you play against like a fairly stock Omnath list, you should just board out all your Cascade spells. I think you might be better off. Just so damn hard for your Cascade spells to resolve. I guess I just play it and hope they don't have like two more subtleties somehow. <laughs> They play sign up Drake who I can solitude the subtlety in response. <laughs> would I keep in footballs? No, I would board out my 12. I would try it. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying I would try it. Two footballs for shot list. That's what I tried sometimes, or for or maybe you want outburst. I'd bind there. It's pretty annoying. Actually, it's not that bad for me, right? I have Solitude. Which one do I bounce? And which one do I kill? Does it matter? Landminer's cheaper. Landminer's cheaper. Subtlety scarier, though. I think I'd rather bounce tight binder. Am um, I finally ready to play that Basaju? I don't think so. I don't think I really need to. It doesn't do anything for me. I might just lose. I might just lose this game. If I like break again next turn. I don't have a lot of breaks left, but I do have a few. I had to draw exactly the basic forest. All right. Thank you. Just blue mana, maybe? All right, you have double white, blue, green, white, red. All right, now it feels like they need a lot to win this game. 
And I got to sandbag Baseju. <clears throat> Yeah, Ren Basaju was nice there. Solitude bailed me out. I could do one Solitude, one Binding. Yeah, Omnath is the hero deck, seriously. Fighting all the baddies. Chalice bailed me out. Well, yeah. But I'm not considering cutting Chalice. If only Scalding countered, uh, countered Subtlety. Is Fire Ice really what you want? It's pretty good against Cascade spells. Yeah, I think Fire Ice is good. Kills, kills Tideblinder too. Die villain or get old and become the hero. Yeah, kind of. Maybe Nissa into Solitude is not even that relevant. He just won. You kind of just want Omnath, really. Could trim an Omnath. Could do like one Omnath, one Solitude. I don't hate it, and then have like a Tide Binder and a Binding. Even Bolt. Bolt not the absolute worst. Just worried I'm going to draw a Tide Binder on the draw, and it's going to be too slow. Plus, with like. They don't even always have to fetch. Maybe this is a bit better. Is Solitude better than Fable? I think Solitude is one of the worst cards in my deck. It's only good because I can hit it up Nissa. Let's try this. Maybe play draw matters a tiny bit. I'm not sure. Triple Ren. Mengu. Screenshot for Mengu. Clearly Chef got Ren for more lands. Alright. Fetch both triumphs. At least one. Let's get rid of Foundry. White, white, blue, red, white, green. Wait, why did I keep. Yeah. Not even sure it's been good for them, but. My opponents have started with Leyline and playing an awful lot. Yes, I know, I don't have a Surveil land in my deck. I'm an idiot. Stop it, please. What do you cut? Do you just add a 21st land, maybe? Count it as like... Not even a, it's not even a spell, it's like that thing in the ether, right? That you can get. I think it's correct. Could maybe cut the rent for it. Oh, they're stuck on lands? That's nice. I wonder if they're playing the Trios version. He just was playing 20 lands. He just decided 20 lands was good enough. He decided Leyline was mana fixing. And he didn't need to play more lands. I mean, he was still playing the Four Lord Unrevealed, but he was like, eh, I'm good. Need to fit all these cards. All right, need to dodge double counter spell. Even if they have double counter, they need to use a... F I, they could have... No, they can't have double dispute. They need dispute plus force. They could just have subtlety to resolve rhinos, be in a decent spot. Hopefully they have force. Silvia Wataru. Thank you for the 24. The rate of 24. Welcome to you and your party. Hope you had a good stream. Whatever you are streaming, whoever you are, be welcome. I'm curious. So I've never seen your name before. Japanese streamer? Magic the Gathering Legacy. All right, cool. Arigato. It's like the one word, uh, the one word I know. Oh, Force of Negation. 
You'll love to see it. What do you think, Leyline in Zoo? I played I played the prelim with Leyline Zoo the other day. I thought it was fine. I thought without having playing Zoo before, so just like kind of opinion like that. I saw I I feel like it probably makes the deck better to have Leyline in the deck. Did we just win? Yeah, this game's like thousand percent over. Plus, they can't even fire my, you know. Yeah, they agree. Oh, and you have Kavu to rummage ley lines. Yeah, but this deck has force and subtlety to pitch. You build it really well, and play it really well, and get really lucky. Maybe you can get that uh, elusive 51% uh, win rate with the deck. <laughs> I think Medvedev's, he usually likes like aggressive decks. I'd assume he's on five color zoo or maybe that five colors rhino list. Something like that. That would be my best guess. He likes to mix it up a bit though. Doesn't just always play the same deck. But balls. Hello, Footfalls. Meet my friend. Turn to Uncountable Teth. Hmm. Temple Garden means he's playing the Binding version. Meaning... I should probably just draw a card right away. Shout out to Dreamhack for calling the deck Ragda scam on coverage since it's not like they can get punished by losing future tournaments now. Okay, it did get fired, which I think it's fine because I have a second one. But yeah. Alright chat, question, do I double down? I think I double down. I mean, if he has another five, okay, top. Hmm. Top exiling Charlotte's agent. I will top anyways. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to save the Teferi for the the Footfalls next turn. Kind of play Omnath first. Does that make sense? Footfalls into if I go Teferi, could go Teferi Bouncer Rhinos, Solitude of Rhinos, Chum Block. That's good if he has another Cascade spell. Oh, I think he was playing... Let me check real quick. I think he was playing the versions like the 12 Cascade spells. Dude, he was playing 22 lands. He just cut the... He just YOLO'd. I for he top eight and top forward. He just playing twenty two lands, no Lorgan revealed. What? Oh, Thanks. All right, this is a tricky spot. She has another cascade spell. The fairy bounce. No. Nah. I think I'm supposed to cast Omnath. And get probably basic planes. Plus, if I ever hit a fetch land, it's just so insane. I mean, I should have gotten basic planes. 
Or just a land, really. Any land is really good here. Yeah, and I'm now I feel like I'm chilling. Could have dismember. But even dismembers. As long as he doesn't have like land dismember cascade spell. Sorry. Eating my soup. <laughs> well, sorry or not, depending on turn to ASMR. I think I trade. No shot at trade. I guess it doesn't make a ton of sense to trade. Pretty bad if I draw lands. But if I draw all spells and I can't cast them, Omnath does make my solitude so much better. All right. Maybe if he outbursts here, I solitude. Should have traded. And I keep running six mana. The tapping half line makes sense here, but A B Fetch land from heaven. Let's go. The genius. I like when I make a, a basic, you know, a basic reasonable play. I get the genius oh, now. Alright. We got them. We weathered the storm. I had the absolute nuts on the play. And I didn't lose. A little food on the mic. How come you're not playing the hot new deck? I'm just farming the hot new deck. The stars have the stars have aligned, and I appear to have a good matchup against the hot new deck. I think I just trade was on that now. Just double block. Plus, I get some lifelink. It's kind of nice. I think this is trading. Uh, I mean, I'm not gained some life, but I think I'd rather save my cards by a lot. Just play a fair game now. Bonus point if I play it fast. Uh, what am I worried about? Not much. Bonus point if I play it fast proceeds to. Tank forever. I think I'm going to keep binding mana up. Hey, Classy. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. I see Dry now. Uh, all right, I'll get fancy. Let them have it. Stonks. Fresh Teffers. All right, so what have we been doing? Paseju, Veil, Vito, Moonlight, Dispute, Verdict, Chalice. And then last time I did one Binding, one Solitude. The draw. And then what was the last card I trimmed? I think I trimmed a nominaf. I think that's what I did last time. It's been working out. Oh no, bolt. Bolt shouldn't be in. What did I do last time? I did two bindings, I think. Yeah, I did that. Okay, I like that. I like Fable. I think so. It dodges Dispute. It dodges Subtlety. I think I do. This hand is 
Good against the Leyland draw. And this is also good. But I think five lands just too many. Just ditch the island. Easy. Gap farming rhinos, chat farming magus. If you say so. I have two bindings in my deck. I could do Abzan into Steam Vents. All right, don't have to worry about... This is like kind of the nuts in this matchup. Chalice plus Ren. Oh, I drew Steam Vents. Love them. This is maybe greedy, actually. Oh. Uh, I have maybe played Chalice first, and if it gets countered, I keep Ice Mana. Yeah, that was loose. I should have played Chalice first. That was super loose. Okay, what am I worried about? He didn't have Binding. But he didn't Shock, so he doesn't have Binding in hand. He could have drawn Binding. Just trying to think if there's anything I can do to fades. He could have Endurance. Endurance would be gas here. Oh, I meant to cycle and get back to cycling land. Well, now it doesn't make sense to cycle. It's not the end of the world. Might even be happy I had my mana up here. I think I just want to cycle my cycling lands. Good eye, so you can't flash in a subtlety. Or if you, or if you find me Drew Binding. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice insurance. <coughs> These games have been doing really well. Looks like my draw is lining up great against his too. Ottawara. Ottawara have to discard to hand size? Just Ren, I guess. Or fetch land. May just fetch land. I played, yeah. Clearly. I have a feeling I'm going to be just fine. Just a feeling. What if that blew in the upkeep? I didn't realize it was their only source of... Uh... <coughs> And this way I get to fetch and cycle. No force, nice. Verdict retrace sounds pretty good against rhinos. What do you think, chat? Man, that one verdict has been so clutch for me. Just so insanely clutch. It is really good against rhinos. Oh my god, he's got the tech, finally! Finally, someone. So good. Dude, it's literally the only card that saves him there. <laughs> I want to say that questing these just for me. 
requesting me is so good, I can't beat it. I literally cannot beat it. Look at my hands. Literally all of I could go Ren, Fire, Ren. Doesn't seem that great. Uh, yeah. Yep. Literally unbeatable. <laughs> Alright, I think I still want to do that to like make him use his mana, his subtleties, whatever he has. It's not great, but it buys me a bit of time. I'm glad I, I hold on to that ice because I might need it. Unbelievable. Questing me is just totally soloing me. <laughs> wow. It was bound to happen. Someone was bound to cast Questing Beast against me in a spot like that and just absolutely wreck me. I mean, I might have to go Ren Ren Fire, honestly. He actually killed a Ren. So I can play Ren. Bounce Questing Beast, Ice the Questing Beast. This gets Ren going again. Ring plus Ice, I could do that. It's a Ring plus Ice just sees way more cards. Ring gets me to four, but to Fairy Ice. I mean, surely I'll find a... I think a Ring plus Ice makes a ton of sense. Yeah, I need Omna for Nissa. Thanks, just laughing at me right now. <laughs> Calling Hyper, yeah. I did board out a hyper and not a ring. The reason I do that is because I don't know if it's a good reason. But the re the reason I do that is because ring plus halfling is uncounterable, whereas omnath is not. All right, as always, it remain it, it, it rests in the balance. Can I find hyper charm? Or I have a few removal spells. Um, now, yeah, but that's subtlety. Fire me. That doesn't change things too much. Because I have to ferry into... I have to ferry into Omnath mana. Hopefully. Yeah, I do. Huh? Uh, oh, that sucks. Chalice for eight. Chalice for four. I could pay. Man, I'm like, I'm like just a little man short of. Of ping and being able to counter the to... Alright, I get one more draw step. I have two bindings in my deck. Oh yeah, I thought that game was so locked. I mean, Questing Beast was literally the only cards, I think.
One card away. I mean, I thought I played it well. I thought I... Was Ren Fire Ren worth it in hindsight? I mean, obviously it was worth it in hindsight. I lost. <laughs> I mean, it's, that line's so bad. If he has like a force or a subtlety, I get wrecked. All right, I don't think this should change the way I sideboard. Unless he has multiple questing beasts. Started in nah, turn to fable is so good on the play. If I go turn to fable, it's kind of just I refuse. I refuse. You think fable is bad? I don't want no, I don't want to make my deck clunkier. One more jump nav. Maybe. Maybe that's like maybe maybe questing these just means. I nudged slowly towards uh, Omnath over Ring since it's already kind of like the cards I'm debating. It's like kind of between these two cards, I think. Not the greatest hand, but kind of. He doesn't have Gemstone Cavern. Is he even playing Leyline? We saw. We saw. Did we see Draco? Oh, he must be. Okay. Uh, it's getting basic forest here dumb, probably. I think I need to fetch right away. I see the second Ren is not ideal, but I'm not mulling half link fetch land Ren on the play. No way. That's bad, I should have gone in Steam Vents. Slow and bad. What's new? That was bad again. I can like kill my halfling, untap cascades. That's just terrible. Oh well, I guess I was due for some punts. He doesn't even kill the halfling at this point. He would have killed it on his turn, probably. Maybe it wasn't bad. My vents over triumph because you want to draw the triumphs and cycle them for card advantage. A little late, but maybe not late enough. Why are they doing this? I, I never know why it starts doing this. All right, let's hope for no force of negation. Mr. Beast incoming, probably. I can't even rep play line binding. Yeah, they played the fair in the sideboard makes sense. I mean it's a good card. It's gotta be plus, right? What else is he gonna do? Yeah, retrace this feud could be game winning. For sure. Yeah, plus. I need anything, come on. Any reasonable spell. Should have had more questing beasts in the sideboard. Dismember, that's good for me. Minus one card.
Oops. Well, okay. It happened. It's fine, actually. It doesn't matter much. I don't have lands left to fetch. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Dude, I'm so stupid. Retrace friend does nothing. Oh my god, I should have pinged that fairy. Oh, what an idiot. He literally has to fairy in play. I mean, I guess I can go Ren Ren. Finish it off. Maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, maybe triple, even triple ping Ren. Oh, maybe that's a play. All oh, right, all right, all right. At least I got a little something out of it. Okay, let's do that. Hyper charm. Okay. Hyper saving me. Yeah, I'm gonna close chat. You are definitely right. Time is the enemy. I'm gonna close all these things in case makes a bit. Ardently attack with one rhino. I mean, I just take it, right? I have island left in my deck. Don't care about Ren. It's going to be a lot of mana. At least his life total is not too high. Oh, wow. Good thing Nissa is Bay. Guess I can literally kill it. I'm just I'm just gonna bounce it for now. It's just faster. It might not be the right play, but. I think I should be good. It's got to be good, right? Questing beast. Draco. Oh man, that's going to buy him so much time. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's going to buy him so much time. Not like this. I Not forgot like about this. the one ring. Nice. He attacked me instead of one of my planeswalkers. All right. Uh, I'm going to time out, though. I'm gonna time out. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Uh 
All right, discard Chalice. Discard Chalice and Foundry. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. Okay, if you have strength to not die, killing Teferi makes sense. Discard Chalice and Foundry. Yes. Yes. Probably draw was one ring. No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, man. I have to reset all my triggers. I need to finish that off. Oh, he had subtlety there. That sucks. <clears throat> Can I do it? No, I can't do it. Oh well. Also, probably when I'm playing this deck, especially slow decks, I should restart in between rounds. There's definitely some lag going on at the end. GG Foss says, my friend did this, talking about the time trick. My friend did this with his clock in college, trying to get to class on time. Eventually, his clock was 37 minutes fast and completely useless to everyone. You win that game if you restarted before the match? Yeah. I always, I always forget, like, how bad it can be. What am I up against? Living End? Basic Island. Not a ton of I played Basic Island. It was Living End. I mean, I guess it was more likely to be Rhinos. No, Rhinos, but not Laid, was on Tough Island, though. Like, it, Living End only has one island. Am I supposed to bind that Grief? Does that make sense? Means they don't need to get it back on the way back on the living ends. They're not gonna take Omnath, they're gonna take Fable, no matter what. So it's not great, but I think it makes sense. Unless they're a solitude. I think I can just get Steam Vents here. <coughs> Save the Triome. And also just one less creature. The game could like if their draw's not perfect. Too bad this is not a Nissa I'd have a creature in the bin. Man, Nissa Nissa tried to carry me. Nissa was like, I'm here for you, Gab. I got you. And I was like, no, I'm good. I'd rather time out. Yeah, that was extremely close. I wouldn't mind mean they're stuck on lands. Fable. Lightning Bulls. Great draw. <laughs> oh, the Hedge Maze milling the... milling the Waker. Too good. Might convince on Fable. Uh, yeah, I like it. 
maybe there's something better, but I like to I've liked Tunis, I think overall. I don't know. I mean maybe maybe I'm maybe Nissa would be better than the the the, the second Fable. But Fable's been just fine. Um yeah, I don't think one solitude is really gonna save me. You know what? I'm kind of dumb. I could have just held Omnath. And just tried to go Omnath. I'm so used to getting griefed. Yeah, I should have just held the Omnath. And played Offshore Living in and hope that's good enough. Just to sleep at the wheel now. Just pump thing. I mean, the game probably would have been hard either way, but that was bad. <coughs> And then something will convince that it should be Nissa. He's letting me draw? I guess. Can I do anything? Nah, I gotta have Cascader. It just has Adverse just waiting, right? Oh, I should attack first, right? No matter what. Do you play Nissa here? So that makes sense to play this though. Does double solitude bail me out? Just rather bolt. Oh, I could bolt my I could bolt my Nissa. Oh, I should have played the Nissa. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh my god, I had the bolt. Oh, I'm playing this game so poorly. Why is that good? Is it not? Oh, you think it's just better to like bolt an architect and play this afterwards? Yeah, maybe. Oh, you might be right. Yeah, maybe this is good. Just play for play raid forest, say go. Gain some life, add my life total. Forest, I, I can almost cast double solitude. Can I do something cool? No, I can't, right? Just get some tap lands, some green tap lands. No, I think I forgot to like think about it and add them. Probably cost me like a bunch of games. You should you should almost definitely have one. Like a second blue red one would be good probably. Maybe you want two. This deck's just so prone to flooding with ren and fetches and stuff. Seems kind of nice. Alright. I mean I draw a fetch land. I mean, I need to draw a fetch land. <clears throat> I need them not to have subtlety. What do I do? Do I even do I double block? I mean, do I do I just block right away? Probably. I need a fetch land. I need a fetch land, Dad. Or like a one ring. Not quite. Not quite, but not Jover. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the surveil is probably valuable enough that you can go up to 24 lands. No, no blocks this turn. I need a fetch plan again. Living end? <laughs> Late half links feels so bad. Yeah, but you're not saying much when you're saying that. And turn one half wing is so good, like it's just... Yes. Yes, one drop tense. 
One mana cards tend to be bad late in the game. More news at 11. Would you go down to one Triumph? Yeah, maybe you could cut Frogger and Triumph. Maybe you could, you like, cut Frogger and Triumph, play a, a Steam Vents plus a blue red one, and then you also play the blue white one. Could try that. And then you cut the four Somnath again, or the first ring. Force, oh, yeah, they're just playing with no Cascade. At least that means they don't have subtlety. All right, fetch the fairy, solitude, omnath, basic land. Literally the worst card I could have drawn. Wow. Thanks, like big F you, Gab. I had auto war, anyways. All right, I guess I played the game fine in hindsight. So I was like kind of being a little downer. I'm not sure about verdict. I'm assuming it's good. So this is kind of a weird one. Like in game one, Solitude's really good, but it's good because you have all the white cards. But after sideboards, kind of like all my other cards better. Could almost argue Binding is better than Solitude. Is this calling for? It's for uh, Grief. I think it's good. Not great, but better than alternative. Like the solitude stuff only gets you so far. And I just don't have the white cards to support it. This seems fine. Maybe I don't need scolding and two veil of summer. Maybe that's kind of overkill. That sounds terrible. Sounds much better. Just Fable, maybe? Ah, uh, messed up. Ah, uh, messed up. I was supposed to play Breeding Pool. Don't have Hallowed Fountain in my deck. Hmm. Because now my plan was to like ice their blue, their blue uh, land end of turn. Oh my god. Oh, that's such a spew. I mean, maybe it'll work out for me. Maybe it'll work out for me. Because then I could have gone like ice island, untap to fairy, make you have uh Make you have force of negation. I might still be okay. Yeah, maybe this is better actually. I mean, it's better if I draw land. All right, if I don't go on tap land, I lose. Slightly. This time I draw the fetch land. I'll take it. What is that about? Trying to make me misclick? And they might just have it all. They might just have force and subtlety. Two blue cards and a living end, it would be like unheard of. There's a reason living end is just a busted deck. Still have verdict in my deck at least. Things go really wrong. What's the play now? 
What do they even play these days? Bone Crusher? Just plus, right? Hmm. I'm hide my hand for the rest of that one. There's like some weird things going on here. Just taking my precautions. I'll wait for that, but. Oh, I guess this game's just over. It's fine. I don't I don't know. I don't know what happened this game. Maybe I'll got scolding on the draw all week. Opponent's a true believer. The fairy chalice one ring. I think they're gonna main main adverse. I'm gonna dispute a pump spell. Did you see the Karuga domain deck that I would? Yeah, I did. Sure. Is he doing well in the showcase? I can't sort of five up a game. I should be 5-0 right now, to be in the C5-0. Solid us. Oh, you have Beer and Tron. I just got unlucky. Didn't you see I never drew a Basaju? And a bad matchup. An unreasonable bad matchup. Like, unexpected bad matchup. Man, they bring in Force of Vigor in this matchup? That's so miserable. I mean, I guess you do what you have to do to get rid of a Chalice, but... That's your... That's your plan. Not a great plan. It appears Hyper John is eluding me. You can board that friend on the draw. They're good on the play, I think. Because they'll let you keep like two landers or even maybe one land halfling hands. But on the draw, it's a little sketchier. Actually, I don't have Chalice in play anymore. They could just go like land, brazen bar, bounce to fairy. I need to be a little careful. This game is actually not over. Let's see. How... <coughs> I can... I can, like, bounce my Sawtooth and discard it to hand size. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I think the line is, let's see. 
play this. Get island. Get some mana. Play a Ren. Get back cycling land. I was kind of letting my guard down, honestly. And I was like, oh, I'm not that far off, just... Uh-oh. Newly controlled. I like how they sneak the newly controlled on top. Sneaky, sneaky magic online. A uh, true veil protects from Borrower. Did I have green up? Yeah, they need not aura. Anyways. Found Solitude. Might not be enough. It's probably enough to buy me time with the One Ring and whatnot. And cycle a land. See, I can find a... Uh... I tapped out last turn. I'd have the Auto Aura. Okay. Go play by me, not... Not just falling asleep at the wheel there. More? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I am more. Have my free basics in play. My two cycling land foundry is gone. I have all my vegetables. All my vegetables. Funny guy. All right. The good news is we didn't get to cycle since that's the auto war. Yeah, no, that living is not gonna cut it. There's no way. Hmm, they can cast them all. Do I cycle that live that veil of summer? Veiled sub architect trigger. Does that work? That's funny. Yeah, I should have. I could still do it, but I don't wish. I mean, I should probably just veil anyways, right? Oh yeah, we draw for it was right. Yeah, I don't know. I might cycle my veil. <clears throat> Had this sideboard foundation breaker, force, force, subtlety, subtlety, subtlety. So at least three subtleties. May not a ton of force because it's bad against halfling. That can make sense. Two foundation breaker. Passage. I think maybe they're punting by not scooping this game. Uh, a little late to the party. How do I actually close out this game without decking first? Maybe they've played these games and decking is real. Let's get Tefers into play. Maybe I need to keep in all my solids. Verdict ultimate for N. Yeah, maybe. Now I don't have to do it now, but this is such a weird game. All right, I'm just gonna play my cards and see what happens. Attack first for free life. Yeah, whatever. You're right. Could have also bounced my solitude. I was going to say they don't seem too concerned with time. I guess they are. 
could just void out all the rings on the draw. Maybe keep one in. And then do some solitudes. And I said I didn't want scolding on the draw. Ren or white cards? <laughs> Ren's good. It's it's kind of good with chalice too. Have the chalice Ren draw. Kind of nice. Binding not super appealing since they have a bunch of force of vigor. You know. Oh, this turn scolding counter is uh, the 2-2. Two -two. I'll just turn scolding. Protects my chalice, actually. Maybe Fable is even worse than... Fable is nice with chalice, too. But that force of vigor... Maybe Fable is bad and it should just be Rens. Keep the Rens. I mean, they can definitely beat it, but it's nice hand, for sure. Oh, I forgot I wanted a hand hider on. I haven't done anything suspicious, really. We kind of just got to the match a little late. I want to play Chalice into uh, their curve of two mana thingy. <clears throat> if only I'd want it be different because then I could be worried about grief. Grief in the yard, so they're low on blood. Maybe they already have grief living in. They've had some good mills, the grief in, in this game. The, oh, they kept a really slow hands. I'm not even play that Nissa. So what am I worried about? Scolding gets the 2-2. Two -two. Why would I ever want to dispute Hardcast Disputes? Or Savigar, I guess. I mean, one damage doesn't matter. Yeah, Kai, the classic. And Hyder talking about my hand, you like it? A true classic. Come on, just want to play the Nissa now. So how do I get punished here? End of turn, Force of Vigor. Into Cascade, Double Grief. I guess mean, so I'll just say go. What a weird game. So they have no cyclers, no lands. <laughs> so they have just all like all reactive spells. <laughs> I mean, I can just start discarding to hand size, I guess. <laughs> what a weird game. I think I'm playing it fine, but... Force a bigger pitching Charlotte's agent on my turn. Yeah, nothing I can do. I mean, I guess just discard a missile. What do we have? My friends have a very interesting hand. No, I don't think they're ghosting. I'm just 
I'm not even why I care in the X2 bracket, honestly. I'm not even playing for top eight anymore. This is, I'll show you the hand. I draw, I drew Moonlight and Ren, but I don't have a fetch land. I have that chalice I've had in, in hand for like ever. Okay, I'll play another chalice. <coughs> the views of Force of Eager. I could go for Teferi. The subtlety, two cards, Force of Vigor, two more cards, Living End, I get Nissa Omnath, they get Grief Grief, Street Trace, Charles, Oliphant, Subtlety. Or I could just say go, and it feels like they call in. Yeah, I mean, I can just keep saying go, I think. Oh, I guess I also get to Solitude Omnath if they do Living End. Yeah, I should have played that to Fairy, but they play Dispute. Yeah, but I have a Halfling. Dispute doesn't work, it's only Subtlety. I don't think that's Subtlety. I don't think someone taps out there. Or doesn't keep floor mana up if they have Subtlety. That's weird. Yeah, there's also the time is an issue. Told you I was not timing out anymore, chat. All right, now that's a living end that can maybe beat my... My graveyards. I'm like worried again. Dude, where are my lands? That's insane. Hollow Moonlight's pretty tricky for them to beat. They kind of need another grief. I solitude that. I care to to try to save it for grief if they do have a third grief. Should I moonlight? Probably right. I mean, plus that fifty seconds left, so there's no way they can rebuild on. Hey, fetch land. Let's go. I mean, I should have countered that. I forgot I still lost my halfling there. Hmm. How are you doing, Jose, by the way? You winning? You flashing some fires? You beat the Tron player? What's your record? Are you just doing great? Or did the Tron player lose it all? 5-1-6-0? All right, GG's. For Insol Artifact, and I want to try it against Phoenix. Ooh, price could be tough. Whatever that is. Just Azari's Charm? I don't know. Putting a Phoenix on top sucks. Alright, it might just be Zoo. Might just be Zoo. Should save Basaju for Draco. Does the main zoo also play Giganta? Wait, they play Prismatic Ending still? Grixis Trium? I 
wonder if I'm ever supposed to shock here. In case they play a Draco and I can with Seiju into Teferi. Could be game winning. And I'm sure I can afford to take two damage without seeing their hands. McDonald's. Yeah, and it's playing. It's it's on Twitch. You can watch right now coverage. I would watch in between rounds, but let's say my rounds have been a little long. Tempting. Fable Solitude Cargo? Does that make sense? It doesn't make a ton of sense. All right, just bounce it. And then I can Nissa uh, Fable next turn. Add our fetch plans. It's nice to see the Zudex stumble a tiny bit. And I say that. Might just be sitting on a bunch of tribal flames involved. I've struggled against that deck, whether I was playing Rhinos, Living End, Omnath. It's bad against, but he's just decent against everything. I might kill the, the Wild Mikado just to turn up their stubborn denials. Hmm. Shock and play Fable to not get stubbied. Stubbied. Fable's just not doing that much for me here. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Nissa. Nissa tap land pass. It's not great. And it's kind of awkward. Game would have been pretty easy with a fetch land. As it could have bolted hand. Could have they could still have stuff. Might even have to trade here. I'd have bolts. That's not good. Took them like five minutes to fetch Team Vince Bolt. Dang. Am I playing against myself? Okay, what's the deal here? They have binding mana. Probably should still play the ring. Play the ring. Say go. Join their upkeep. first. I mean, you do play Reprieve sometimes, so... Yeah, that's good. I don't know, it feels like this deck just has it against me always. I just always draw the right amounts of spells and lands. I'm losing the Daryl was not great, but I'm not even sure I made the difference. Yeah. Just don't know what to do against that deck. 
But Stern Scalding counter to Cabo counters, right? Counters a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> Should I just board out the rings against them? Try boarding out all the rings. They have Binding and Stubborn. We're bringing Force of Vigor. I met Wobi and Ghent. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I want my Halfling. I want Bull Scalding, Tide Binder, my own bindings. I want Ren. I guess I should just do Busage if I'm going to do Force of Vigor. Probably better. Fable is fine, I guess. Fire Ice kind of underwhelming. Could go. I guess the Fairy is pretty bad too. Halfling to Fairy is nice, but if you don't have Halfling. Moonlight, Veto, Veil, Dispute. Ring better than the Fairy. Could be two and two, maybe. Maybe I should keep all my rings in. Maybe that's nonsense. Is Amor Titan still a top deck? Yeah, Cancer is crushing. 5 1, playing in Sauce. Fine looking hand, but I don't know, the Zudic. The Zudic, I just can't seem to beat it. I wonder if I should have all my Buseju, because they, they could have Leyline, right? Yeah, I should have brought in all the all the Buseju, kind of messed up. Kind of sucks I put all my fetchables in hand. I don't know why that should be a discard. I, I mean, I need to discard a land. Definitely breeding pool. And it's like scolding or planes. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep mana up this game. It does discard the scolding, I guess. <laughs> Yes, I'll lose. Yeah, I mean, I messed up. I should not have had scolding. Or maybe, I don't know, something else. But I should 100% have at least a third Buseju. I brought in all the Busejus. Never mind. I brought it at Teferi. Guess that was maybe my mistake. Oh well. Told you they have my numbers. That zoo deck, they always draw so well against me. That's nuts. Hmm, Verdict was not that far away. Get lost is nice for the mayor. You only get, yeah, but that's the one matchup. I feel like there's a one matchup where I get losses is fine. I mean, I don't know. I guess I should look up what I'm playing against. The shark were not performing too well for me because of no more lies. I just want flashcards. Yeah, that's fair. Bricks is shadow, footfalls, 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 footfalls. Gotta assume Rhino of some kind. I guess against Rhino, I'll just greed and bottom the land. Hey, Jaycoy. Just woke up. Already, already in the future.
Yeah, I just don't like I don't think he needs so many spots removal. I just love Sensor. I don't know how you play in a Fable meta without Force Sensor. Like, there's so many good 2 and 3 mana cards you have to counter. Fable, Trespasser, the free 4 Grease Fang. I, I don't know. I feel like Force. Uh, I'm gonna, if I play Blue Eyed, I'd be shocked if I play less than Force Sensor. Wow. All right, I got punished. I like their play. I'm Mulligan. I'm on the play. Sensor is mostly good to not get mana screwed. I think Sensor is just amazing in, in Pioneer. I'm near playing two digs. I'm getting worked. Oh, that's GG. And then you have the flanker. I haven't played with the flanker. Only free lockdown. Not a moonlight. Starnheim, reversal dispute, yeah. I could buy cutting a removal spell for sensor. You should just cut free removal spells for free sensor. Your deck will be much better. Well, I'm lucky this game. They had to have force. Or else I was just in a great spot. I like your sideboard. I the thing about flanker is I was playing an incarnation deck once and Delis had flanker in the sideboard. But I brought in it against Phoenix and it wasn't even good. But maybe it's better in the... Uh, like the random aggro decks, I guess. You just bring it against like White Weenie and you bring it against Boros Convoke and stuff like that. Oh no, wrong land. Maybe Flanker is just nice because it comes in in a million matchups and it's a cat. Is it good against like Grease Fang and Phoenix? That doesn't seem that good against Phoenix. Or do you not bring it against Phoenix? Well, I guess you get their Phoenixes. I've beaten Grease Fang so easily since get lost. I beat it the other day, but I feel like I should have lost. I was getting lucky. It was like they're on the Bang Buster, the Free Four. I uh, does their value plan is pretty scary. Yeah, no more lines helps a bit. Not even still get lost is that good against them. If there's six discard spells, then they have a bunch of cheap creatures who like they have a bunch of creatures to map onto. You're you're good against a Grease Fang plan for sure. You're pretty bad against a uh, regular rhinos. What is going on? I think I keep binding in solitude in this matchup. You want Magus of the main answers. All right, mark my words, Chad. This is why if you're playing Rhinos against Blue White or against Omnath, you should board out all your footfalls and all your cascade spells. Let's do a prediction. Gamba time chats, or is there already a Gamba going on on the. 
Wool, wool of footfall, wool rhinos enter the battlefield from footfalls. You know what I'm trying to say, basically. Basically, wool of footfalls kind of resolve and rhinos coming to play without it getting stopped by Teferi or countered by Chalice or Counterspell or... Will that happen in one of the sideboard games? Granted, there might only be one sideboard game. But maybe there's already a game back going. I can't tell right now because it's slaggy. Will rhinos enter the battlefield this match? All right, you have one minute while I finish sideboarding. Yes. No. I see LSV's deck with RC. Yeah, it's... It's uh, just a recent thing that people started playing. I mean, as a new card from the new set. Uh, okay, two Solitudes, two Binding. All the Rings and Omnath. Nissa Fable, Dispute Tidebinder, Fire Eyes, Veto, Moonlight, Ren. Yes, yes, I want all these cards, indeed. Maybe only one Binding? All right, chat. Wow. No one, no one trusts me. Oh no, 50-50. Emerald trusts me. Hmm. Cannot gamble this hand. Do I even play Halfling on one here? Gemstone Cavern. Could get Breeding Pool, actually. That makes sense. Oh, Day Mulligans? We got a Force of Negation. Okay. It would be funny if my opponent was an avid watcher of the stream and boarded out all their Cascade spells. And the, be the believers are actually just drawing dead, but they don't know it yet. This is looking decent for the believers, though. And it's not that great. I mean, I have a one counter, but... What did it pitch for some negation? Yeah, I just realized that return to the fairy was turn one halfling. Lemon's Lemonade, or do we need Dispute into Cascade Spell? But then I'm still not doing terrible, but I'm not doing good either. How many Disputes do they play? Like, three? They pitch a Force because they mulliganed. They got Basic Island. I'm ripping Magus up the moon. They don't have a land in hand. Most unlikely, they have all spells. I could just go for it. I could chill. I could top deck a chalice. Then they're going to start in casting flames and having tide binders. Yeah, I kind of have to play it now. I think things just going to get tougher and tougher. Well, red believers are red doubters. Sorry, I baited you, doubters. Looks like some rhinos are making their way to the battlefield. All right, prediction is over. Who's outcome? Yes. Can you imagine a questing beast here?
All right, Noah Durst. Double is just GG, so I guess I'll just play another ring for now. Maybe the maybe the gamba should have been will rhinos enter the battlefield and I'll lose the game. <clears throat> that would have been made more fair. I guess just another ring? And you lose against Rhino, they don't, yeah, just lose to Endurance Speed Down, Magus of the Moon, Tidebinders, Flame of Anor, that kind of stuff. I think so, anyways. All I know is, I can't remember the last time I, like, just, the, the, the matchup up for Sideboard is just so heinous for Rhinos that I, I'm willing to try something different. Questing this is insane against the like when it's sideboards. Do you get a land which is nice? I don't think I'm gonna want to counter anything. Did I keep in bindings one? Let's see how this sideboard did. Tidebinder, Force, Magus, Flame, Dispute, do you know, just standard. That's a lot of rhinos. I'm not even sure Hyper can, uh, can bail me out here. Which one would have been nice? I feel like I should be okay. What's left in my deck? Sacred Foundry is one. Just play a Halfling. It's getting the mana here better. Go to 17, block, block, take 12, go to five, go to three, win the game. Understood. Did you just broke it, Jose? Just flash fire every game, GG. You are pretty decent, my friend. All right, we need to dodge the top deck to not die. That'd be nice. Then I need to draw a ring or to fairy. Because it's the same thing. I actually drew out burst. Opponents, uh, opponents the best around. I have time binder for the trigger. I'm not dead. Ah, look, I'm gonna tide binder into uh, a tide binder into into verdict easy oh, but then i die to my ring wow i'm truly cursed truly truly cursed this verdict doesn't really work Veil for draw, that's not how the card works. They really had to. They really had to draw, uh, let's see, let's not tilt here. How many rings, did I board out a ring? I did not, I'm incredibly smart and handsome. All right, might as well play Omnath first. 
And I'm like, you in a short stripes. Or am I? Yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit short on the NL. I was just super fine that they hadn't drawn a uh, odd burst there. Kind of nuts. Not they actually needed outburst to win the game here. The way they drew, I, I like. I would have won if I just kept Vito up. Not only would have won, but the believers might have won their their challenge. Oh, I have a uh, I have a non tap plan left. I don't think that changes much though. What can I draw? I need to cycle into my last frame exactly. Right. Oh my god, I don't even have double white. Oh, I can ice. I can ice something. Does Verdict save me? No, because then my ring kills me again. Alright, one outer. Alright. I guess I jinxed it. I guess I jinxed it. But also maybe punted. That was insane though. That was literally like how well they had to draw an air to win this game. They had to have like the removal for my halfling, the dispute for my Teferi, and then keep top decking. I did there's there's a few turns where they like a few lands, I guess, but that was gross. Did I keep playing? I'm not sure, probably not. All right, till keep. They can beat um, Leyline plus Cyan, right? The four sealed. So I was playing the other day, and someone told me people don't even play that card in Merfolk anymore. It was always their best cards. People were like, "Oh, Bowmaster, blah blah blah." Just don't play Merfolk if you're not gonna play Adept. What the hell? Yeah, they can't really beat the combo though. They have nothing against the combo. Merktide? People still playing Merktide? This is not in the top 50% exactly. That is kind of funny. Calibrated Blast, 7 Rhinos, Domain Rhinos, 7 0. Teamer mid range. Yeah, Rhinos. Okay. Classic teamer mid range right there. How many people in the US? A thousand three hundred and thirty. Only. The camera they blast get bigger with the surveillance. You just get to play a million surveillance now. I don't know, they don't play surveillance at all. Duncan Citadel. Ben, Ben sign up Draco clearly. Calling it now. Next ban cards. Is there a world where I'm supposed to just keep binding mana up? You know what? Four four brackets. I'm not gonna make the fancy plays. Should I use my rens or should I use my binding? Would I have a grief? No. Maybe I should try and play this game well. 
Why give up? I'm doing fine. 4-4 four, four bracket. I need to tilt it away. Classic run in six. Je ping jamais. Je ping jamais les landes. Ping, ping, ping. Land, land, land. Ping, ping, ping. Land, land, land. Remember the X2 is playing for top eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, so there's one, one X and two is going to make it. Mm. Cancer's breaker, Arna breaker, not good enough. Look at me, I'm learning. Fetching a lane that lets me cast Omnath. So smart. You just said you didn't play any scam, and here you are. Did I say that? For free. Rip. They discarded one land, but they didn't do anything. So they have double Bowmaster in hand chat. It's fine. This is fine. There's one Bowmaster. Je ping je mess. Wow, only one. These. Very, very, very these. I like that. Hmm. Can I even one top 28 for some sweet prizes? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to die to my own wondering like last time. How's Jade doing? Did he, uh, did he win? Mm -mm. Just do that. Do that. I can keep my ring around for one more turn, right? I could go wrong. Can even kill a shield right in my upkeep. A Don plays. Wait, why are they griefing when they can just hard cast bossies? They think they can scam maybe? They forget about the fairy passive because it's hiding on the right. Belly, great card. Amazing. Easy.
I think I was maybe fine bouncing my binding, giving them back their grief, but it does make it easier. Grief bug. That's someone's left to fetch. Good job, Granham. Does daily brags? Don't mind Granham, just daily brags. No big deal. First first place ever? Oh wow. Figured figured he had many first place in Legacy. Nice. Yeah, any Krenkos? All right, Veil in, Scolding in. Um, Verdict could be okay. What do I usually pour out in this mass uh, matchup? One ring. One ring can go... Not a huge Solitude fan. Solitude can go... And then Tef can go, maybe? Could see verdict being good. Could try verdict. Verdict kind of sketch against Blood Moon. Maybe Veto is good. Counters Fable. I don't think I'm gonna win with this hand, but I guess I'll keep. A fire for Voidwalker at least. Something. Alright, Chad. That, this was warm up. This was warm up for tomorrow. Ooh, bonjour. I'm just gonna get a basic. Cut the halflings, don't need the acceleration, and it's a bad top deck. Why don't you need the acceleration? You don't like casting the fairy on turn two against Cascade decks? Halfling out in this matchup? You're nuts. Never board out Halfling against someone who has Ragvan in his deck. Worst case, worst case of trades was Ragavan. Well, sometimes it's good to trade with Ragavan. Clearly. Clearly didn't need acceleration. What what could Halfling have been? The fairy Solitude Moonlight One Ring. I will take my halfling happily. Thank you very much. Which basics should I get? Maybe planes? I used to board out Halfling against, um, against Fury. Because getting your, your Halfling scammed by Fury felt really bad. Bye-bye, hmm. my goose. Bye-bye, Ragavan. That's the Ragu. I think I'm just going to play blue Light Control. I can't give away the secret decks, the secret decks. I just have to play the same... Same blue white control list that I forward a prelim with now, just stuck. What else would I consider playing? I could play a NIF file. Claudio thinks it's good. Blue white Urza? Which Urza?
classic Nessa just following the game. Nessa too good. Too damn good. Hmm. Should I end the fable first? I can say go and solitude the fable. They flip fable and they go land grief. I might actually be in trouble. It's pretty unlikely. I'm gonna ignore the grief for now. Better get rid of the fable and and save ending for maybe a shield right or something. Take two from Mana Burn. No! Forgot about Mana Burn. Oh, is, is the... Is the list up? Is the Toby Ash list up? He said he 5 would was in City Roots. I built Dredge was in Insidious Root, so it's kind of awful, though. I was like, I had like, you know, I was thinking maybe, but then I played two matches against Ragdos mid. Maybe my build is just bad, though. Oh, bonjour. Ren LTK. Let TK the Ren. One card that's insane with Tivar, I don't know. Combo deck? It's too good. Nissa is just way too good. When? When will they start doubting? Oh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Mm. Oh, that's his old five list. Dude, he's just five wing with different deck every day. Shelly. Oh no, not a Shelly. Six mana. Seven, eight, nine. Mm. I don't really want to solitude the Shaman token though. I'll get a plan, I guess. I'll flip some red mana. Hey, oh, it's Hyper. It's Jum. It's Naf. Hyper Jum Naf. How how obscene! You gotta admit, how obscene was Nissa? It drew me like... Not even drawing cards. It got me like two Solitudes and two Omnath or something and some mana. But Gab, why? Why? Why Nissa? 
Any any broken records in chats? Any any broken record at this point? No. Any at all? Yeah, free mana Lotus Cobra, oh, please. Top 128 secure chat. Like a boss. Oh, your lights you wanted to see. Modern Zoo. It's not my...